Hello and welcome. While I was servicing the Singer 631G, you may have seen in the previous video, I was having a wee think about, it was just in the back of my mind, about the reliability of this machine. And if you've watched that video, you may have noticed all of the working parts are metal, except for one gear, which is, it's not plastic, it's like a fibrous material. That's that large gear that's attached to the hand wheel. And I've never seen one of those fail. And it was really just sort of going through my mind also while I was editing the video. Could this machine be even more reliable than the Husqvarna or Viking class 19 or class 21 machines that uh, I did a video on uh, extolling its virtues uh, and the fact that it's probably one of the most reliable domestic sewing machines, you know, ever made. Just remember that uh, this is about domestic sewing machines. It's not to do with industrial machines. We know how reliable industrial machines are. They're made to be hammered all day, every day. As far as domestic sewing machines go, you know, the class 19 and uh, 21 machines that I love so much. And uh, there's nothing really major that goes wrong with that machine either. There is a plastic gear in that machine. Um, whether it's what sort of plastic it is, I'm not 100% sure whether it's nylon or uh, you know what construction of material that actually is, but I, I call it a plastic gear. It's not metal, that's for sure. That's the cam stack drive gear. You know, the only other thing that could potentially really go wrong with that uh, Viking machine, the Husqvarna, is you know maybe the gearbox might fail. There's plastic gears in the gearbox. Uh, the belts are no longer available. They can be remanufactured. I'm looking into uh, that at the moment, actually. Uh, so, you know, it, there are things in that machine that can make it irreparable or not serviceable, not easily anyway. I had a customer bring in three of them uh, a while back. She's got three of the machines. She leaves them set up on the bench. She threads some different colors. She makes goat blankets and uh, she likes the ability just to walk in and pick a machine that's got the right color and just go for it. She brought in three of them for servicing and all three of them, no problem whatsoever. No major problems. Serviced them, got them back to her. She's happy. Funny thing was, the very next day, I had another one come in. So I actually had four of those Husqvarna Viking. They were class 21s, as far as I remember. Uh, there were three 21 E's, I think it was, and 121A. That machine, you know, that fourth machine that came in, no problem whatsoever either with that. So, you know, 100% hit rate out of four machines, you know, from the 1950s. You know, they're pretty impressive machines for reliability. Uh, by the way, this video is really based around uh, th this type of machine here, the 631G, you know, this sort of era where you've got zigzag capabilities, you've got different pattern stitches available, you can put cams in and out and you know increase the functionality that way. You can do manual buttonholes, no problem on a machine like this. As opposed to the likes of the, you know, the very basic singers, the straight sewers. And you you may know how reliable those are. I mean you look at the 201, there's no plastic gears, there's no plastic working parts in that machine either. The featherweights for instance, or metal gears, uh, you know, there's not a lot that goes wrong with those. Those machines aside, I'm kind of talking about these other types of machines, like so the Husqvarna. I was looking at this machine here and I thought, I'm just wondering if this Singer is up there with them. I mean, what, what is there to go wrong? There's no drive belt. There's a direct drive motor. Straight onto the, uh, you drive straight onto the top shaft. The motor's reliable. I've never seen one fail. Uh, I guess as long as you look after the motor brushes, there's no problem there. Foot controller is pretty solid and reliable. The capacitor could go on it. Um, that's no problem at all. Easy repair. But I mean, if you look inside the machine, you can see metal gears uh, all, all through it. There's no plastic gears whatsoever. Aluminium covers. Even the accessory tray is made of solid aluminium. It's incredible. It's a, it's a very, very nice machine. So yeah, I really rate this machine. And I, as I say, I was sort of thinking about it when I was servicing the machine. and. I brought my one in from storage and um, I'm going to go through and give that machine a service and uh, so I might even promote it to my one of my favorite most reliable machines. So yeah, and pretty 
versatile, you know, they're pretty good machines. And, uh, you know, reasonably fast, reasonably quiet. It's the one thing probably against the machines that have the metal gears is they are a little bit noisier. Yeah, but, you know, not they're not too bad, e even so. There's also a really handy feature with these machines, and that's the chain stitch feature. And um, I'm going to do a video on that one, so keep an eye out for that uh, coming up soon. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm, you know, as I say, I'm, yeah, I'm sort of weighing up. <laughs> I'm going to put the Husqvarna and the and the Singer 631G probably on an equal level footing, I'd say, as far as reliability goes. The Singer might just put the Husqvarna for reliability. Yeah, so just a uh, quick one on that. I had to. Uh, sort of just let you know really that um, I, I'm really rating these machines here. If you ever see one out in the wild, I would say you're pretty okay just to go for it. You know, if you see it in a thrift store or, you know, op shop or you see it for sale somewhere, I would just ask if you could just plug it in, have a go with the machine, make sure it does all its basic uh, functions and I think you're probably going to be okay for you know years and years and years of service out of a machine like that so yep I uh, hope you enjoyed that thank you very much for watching thank you very much to my patrons on patreon and we'll catch you in the next one